afternoon my people welcome back to my channel how are you all doing okay as for me i'm doing well it's good to be here once again okay there's these questions i keep getting so i decided to compile all the questions and and give answers to them all so that anybody that needs a particular question or a particular answer to a question the person can always get to this particular video I'm about to do to get the answers so this video will be all about questions and answers on I want very visa application process questions and answers on i want the visa application process so let's get into it i've written out those questions and i'm gonna be going through them on my paper so as to get it all right and these um, questions has to do with those people that intend to kickstart their I-130 application process by themselves without involving an attorney. That is I-130 for alien relation. That's a, you are based in US and you want to get your spouse down here. Either you are the husband or the wife and you want to start the immigrant visa process without involving an attorney these questions and answers are the step-by-step -step process you need to follow in order to get it done or in order to get your interview letter and finally get your visa for your spouse so let's get going number one question is how do i kickstart the i wanted the application process for my spouse that is the alien relative that's your one of the alien relative which is um, ir1 visa or cr1 visa so how you get how you go about it step one first you have to file a petition for your spouse which is you have to fill a form called i want 30 on the uscis portal that is the united states citizenship an immigration service that's what the acronym USCIS stands for so you have to get to USCIS portal and create an account and once you're done creating an account you go through their various go through their various forms and get to the one that suits your need which will be i-130 form if you are a united states citizen and you want to file for your spouse the form you feel is i-130 so when you get to the uscis and after you have created your account you go ahead to fill that particular form on that form you will be given several instructions and what to do documents to attach fee to pay and once you are done with the filling process you submit it that is it for how to kickstart the i-130 visa application process so the next thing after you have submitted the next question is what next should I do after submitting the I-130 form? So what you have to do is just wait. 
You don't have to do any other thing. After you must have submitted, you wait for their response. That's all you have to do. You have to wait. The next question here is, how do I know if USCIS has received my petition? So the answer to it is, when once you have submitted it and they receive your petition, they will go, they will look into it and and when they and they will, when they find that everything is okay, they will send you a notification on your email. It will be something like this. This was exactly what I got after my spouse submitted my my own I-130 and they received it. The next question here is um, how long does it take for the petition to be approved? Like I've always said, these people here, they work on face compressive basis. It, so it all depends on the number of people, it, the number of petition they they have received before yours came in so when once they are done um, approving those people's home they will approve yours when it is your turn so there is no actual time to to tell you mine took six weeks before i received the approval mail so it all depends on the number of uh, petitions that has been on their decks before yours came in so all you have to do is just to wait but once your case is approved you will get a notification on your email the next question is how much will you pay before submitting the form okay i don't know how how much they are charging now but during my time my spouse paid 535 dollars when he submitted the i-130 form and that wasn't all the money that was involved as you continue with the nbc you will still have some amounts to pay so it was 535 dollars for, for the stats and the next question here is what documents do i need to attach on the i-130 form before submitting okay the form like i said you will follow all the instructions on the form You'll be given instructions on the form and all the documents they need will be listed on the form so you have to just follow them one after the other you just see the list stated listed on the form you just follow it as they list it what do i do next after my petition has been approved by uscis you don't need to do anything what they do is they will transfer your case to nbc it is nbc that will handle your case from from then till you get your interview letter so your case will be transferred to nbc but once nbc receives your case from uscis you will be notified through your email and and you'll be given your your login details that is your your invoice id number and your case number those two numbers are what you'll be using to have access to your um c c a e c a e c CAEC um, dashboard. What happens when once I am done with um, submitting um, MBC documents? You don't have to do any other thing. Once MBC 
gives you these um, login details they will guide you on what next you should do and the next thing you will do is to go to NBC portal and follow their step-by-step -step order in order to complete the application process during this step-by-step -step order you will get to where you will have to register with um, um, travels US travels docs.com you will still get to where you will upload your um, required documents civil documents and the rest of it and even the necessary payments you will make you will still get to these stages on NBC portal so when once you are done on this NBC step-by-steps application process you submit you submit everything on your um, CAEC dashboard this is the portal you will submit everything so when once you submit everything to NBC all you have to do is wait you don't have to do any other thing you have to wait till they get back to you so that is it the next question here is how long does it take for NBC to respond I keep saying everything is on first come first serve basis so it depends on the number of cases they, they, they were working on before yours was submitted so when once it gets to your turn you your case will be looked into and you will get a feedback from them like mine there is no actual time like mine um, it took the first time it took um, like uh, two months before they responded and because we we still had other documents to submit like we submitted documents three times that was why it took us longer time before I, I got documentary qualified so I would advise you submit all the required and necessary documents at once so that you won't have to be waiting for so long because what happened to me was the first set of documents we submitted and before they responded it took like two months the message they told us to submit another set of documents and we submitted and they still got back after two months to request for another document so it took us six months before we could submit all the documents they needed so it is good to submit all the documents at once ensure you go through the list of documents they need and submit everything at once so that it will not prolong your application process so the time for their feedback depends on when you submitted your your documents the number of people that were on the wait list before yours came in so that's it there is no actual time it depends on the backlog that has already been there another question here is how do i know when they respond to my case okay like i said you um, when when nbc first reached out to you to to notify you that uscis has approved your petition they gave you your login details those login details are what you will use to have access to your dashboard on caec portal so on that caec portal you log in with your login details on that your dashboard you have them where you see where you will be receiving messages from NBC. So when once message comes in, you'll be notified there, and you just have to click, and you get to see what they have, the information they have for you. And even your documents you will upload is still on this portal that you will upload your documents. And when once you do that, when, when, if you can always go there to check anytime. 
to know if there is message for you or or to know the status of your application process you can just log in anytime for me i normally check then i used to check like almost every day to see if i will have any new notification from mvc so that's where you always check to to get to know if mvc has any notification for you another question here is after all documents are submitted fees paid and and the documents accepted what next what what next okay what you have to do next is to wait but once your documents has been submitted and they are all accepted by nbc and all your payments have been made excuse me and all your payments have been made and everything has been accepted by NBC you will get notification on your email that you have been documentarily qualified and you should wait await your interview letter so how long it takes I can say everything depends on first come first serve basis so once it gets to your turn after submitting everything and they look into your case and everything is approved by them all the documents are approved by them you will get your notification message that you have been documentary qualified and you should await your interview letter so the next question here is how long does it take to receive my interview letter that too depends on first come first serve basis actually everything they do is based on first come first serve basis so when once you receive the month you receive that notification you will have to take note of uh, the applicants that are awaiting their interview before you and where you check that is on uh, mvc portal as well you can check my previous videos you will get to see how to go about it or i make videos on mvc's monthly updates so you can always come back and check for for new updates every month all you have to do is to turn on your notification button if you have subscribed to my channel you turn on your notification button so you always get notified of every of my new videos and by then by that you will get to know um, when NBC has given new updates for um, applicants they've scheduled for interview so when once you are documentarily qualified, other people have been waiting for their interview letter. So they won't skip those people and give you your own interview letter. No, they will have to give those people their interview letter first before they get to you. So when once the number of people that are waiting for interview letter has been exhausted, that is when you will get your own interview letter. So if the number of people you met when you were documentarily qualified were like uh, 380,000 people, they have to finish with those people first before you get your own. So that is how it works. So the number of people they schedule for interview every month this year is in 40,000. And um, last month they, they got up to 52,000 people so it depends the number is not fixed it varies so this month it can be 49,000 next month it can be 48 or it can be 50 or it can be 42 so you have to keep subtracting this number every month you have to keep subtracting 
the number of applicants they've scheduled for interview from the total number of applicants that were already waiting for interview before you were documentarily qualified. That's how you will keep that's how you will keep doing till you exhaust the number. And when once you exhaust that number, that is when you will get your own interview letter. That was exactly what I did. You can go to my my videos and you you get so many information about how to calculate or estimate your when you will get your interview letter. There is no magic in it. That's just how it works. That's how I know it works. And that was exactly what I did. And I had a little rest of mind, knowing fully well that it will get to my turn in so, 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 so period. So that is it for that. How long will it take to go for interview after I have received my interview letter? It will be boldly stated on your interview letter when you go for your interview. The venue, the time, and the documents, and everything you have to go, it will be stated on your interview letter. Like mine, it's the, when I received the interview letter, the interview was in the next five weeks. So within that five weeks, that's when you will use to do your your medicals. It's a period you will use to get everything prepared for your interview day. So that is it. So what documents will I go to my interview with? All the documents that you submitted on your NBC, on your CAEC portal, on your CAEC, all the documents you submitted on your CAEC dashboard are the documents you will go to your interview with. All the required documents, all the civil documents, everything you submitted, including the ones they will inform you, like something like a uh, something sheet, contact sheet. That one you you won't submit, but you will go there with it. You will just they will send it to you maybe two weeks before your interview day. You print it out, fill it, and then take it along with you during your interview. So all the documents you submitted on the dash on your dashboard, you have to go to your interview with them, both the photocopies and the original. You will go to your interview with them. After interview, how long will I wait for my visa to be ready? Okay, the the interviewer will let you know how long you will have to wait before your interview your visa will be ready for me i was told to wait three weeks 15 working days but guys <laughs> my visa was ready the next day <laughs> and I, was, I didn't know because they told me three working in 15 working days my mind did not even go there that this thing my visa can be ready the next day so your interviewer will tell you when to expect your visa but nevertheless you have to keep checking your us your portal the usndocs.com you have to keep logging in and then check to see if your visa is ready because you will not get any phone call, you will not get any email notification. The only notification will be on this portal. That's the travels, that is portal.ustraveldogs.com. That is where you will get notified that your visa is ready for pickup. That is it for it. That's all the questions I, I have and all the answers. I have given so I believe this information will be useful for someone out there thank you for watching this video till this point and if you have received your interview letter congratulations and I wish you good luck on your interview 
but if you have not received yours and you are still on the application process keep hope alive your turn will soon come and you will receive your interview later and finally do your interview and get your visa thank you every one of you for all the support thank you my returning subscribers thank you my new subscribers thank you my viewers thank you all of you that have participated in growing this channel i love you all and please don't forget to hit the like button comment and share me out so we can give, keep growing and others can get to have um, this vital information thank you and do enjoy the rest of your day bye